I'm boring out a piece of 1018 2 inch diameter to uh, bore out the hole to a little over one inch. So I'm drilling it. It's for a tool post grinder, a spacer to get the tool post grinder on center. The one inch drill bit. There, that's so that's just a drilled hole, and it came out to be perfect fit, just perfect sliding fit. And let's clean up the clean up the ends. First one needs to be uh, 0.380 uh, in length. I need to get my tool post uh, square in here. It was a little off. Setting the dial indicator on the ways. Just going to get the uh, line this up with the end of the piece. Zero that dial. 100, 200, 300. Go 380 right there. So we're going to clear. Look pretty good. See what we can do here. This is a test run. This is a new uh, cutter I made, or new tool I've uh, made up from some used inserts, uh, milling inserts. Pretty darn good. Um, pretty happy so far. Tested it a few times. So you take off some material pretty quick and uh, leaves a pretty good finish. That was like twenty thousandths. That last cut. Like I said, this just ten eighteen. Looks pretty good. Good enough for what I'm making. There. Take it out, measure length, and figure out what the other one needs to be. So here's the uh, here's that surface finish on that last cut there on 1018. No tearing, just uh, actually very nice finish. 1018, that came out uh, really good.
really happy with that. And over to Ray uh, Cornelia there. Ray, this is the uh, same tool that uh, I gave you. I threw another piece in, a piece two inch. I need a one inch one that left over wasn't big enough, so uh, I need a one inch piece uh, space for the uh, top side of it. I'm just using some scraps uh, that are the remainders. Thirty thousand there, maybe thirty-five even. Nice chip. Pretty good finish. It's not tearing or anything. It's uh, just a little bit of roughiness, but it's not, not not hardly anything. Oh. Everybody says, "What well, rinse and repeat here?" Uh, I'm going to drill it up to one inch, flip it over, and uh, face it to size. It's almost—it's just a little over one inch for the uh, other spacer. This is a five-eighths drill bit. So it needs a little sharpening. Making a very good chip. It'll work for this, so. One inch here. Sort of thing is the great stuff about bigger lathes. <laughs> that little Logan takes me 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do all that. Okay, we're going to flip it around and clean it up. So this is what I was working on. Uh, spacers, the uh, bottom spacer, that was the thin one, and the top spacer. I'll probably uh, turn that down a little bit in diameter, I think. Uh, and I'll make a special washer that's going to fit that on top. So that's for the uh, internal tool post grinder. This chuck that's on here is three job. The outer jaws are bell mouth a tiny bit, and it just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of bothers me. It's not super bad, but it's bad enough I should grind them because every time you put something in there, you got to fiddle with it to get it straight, and uh, it should be straighter than that. So I'm gonna 
make up a rig and I'm probably going to grind these things. So, other than that, because that's really, I mean, they're a little dinged on the front. I might grind the fronts up a little bit, clean them up. And, but I think I'm going to grind these set of jaws. Other than that, they're, you know, good, awful good shape, really. So, no, there's no need to buy new ones for it yet. Especially when they're like $300 or something. So, that's what I'm working on right now.